What is today? September 26th. Yep. It is September 26th. I am still trying to get over the disappointment of missing an elk in Idaho. So I'm going to hunt mini elk. With Carl. And we're going to get carried away by the mosquitoes of the eastern shore of Maryland. But we're over here on public land. It's almost time for the roar or the bugle or the dying rabbit sound that they tend to make at the beginning of October. So we're going to walk in, carry in, sit for a few hours, sweat, and then come out and maybe, maybe we'll get something. Actually, that same rig you got there, I had put in my shopping cart at the Sportsman's Guide last night. But I said, you know what? I figured I'd hunt with you first, see what you had and how I liked it. And, you know, may order that. So, looks like I was barking up the right tree. What's that? What the lone wolf stands? Uh, yeah, they're they're pretty nice. They're a little pricey, but they're light. And I've had these for quite. <laughs> Bring an extra thing of fluid. Up I don't really know, like, what do they eat, like, white tails? You know, will they go out to cornfields or not? Yeah, they said they eat a lot of farm stuff. Um, and I really didn't read anything as far as what wild grass they eat. But they, they said they would eat soybeans, corn, um, and what else was it? I think they said sorghum. They didn't say anything about beets and, and sweet potatoes like that kind of stuff. What do you think it is? Like 75 degrees? It's like 75 degrees and we have a nice breeze, probably like 10-15 miles an hour, so it's keeping the mosquitoes down. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet, but what time is it? What do you think it is? Like 5 o'clock? It's about 4.45. Almost 5 o'clock. So no expectation that they'll move right before dark, but I gotta seek a call. So we're gonna try this. Excuse me. 
Sounds like a dying rabbit. So it is September 28, two days after that last scene that you saw while we were Sika hunting. That last, I think a little stag came into the call and um, just was standing there face forward as the light faded out and the camera thought, starts to think that the sensor is with the cover closed and um, shuts itself off. So, But in reality, I, I just lost filming light, really. Um, it was a pretty fun hunt. I'm definitely going to head over there next week when I get the chance, but right now we are getting ready for the Pennsylvania whitetail opener. It's coming up in two days. I gotta work um, in about an hour or two here. And then again tomorrow, so I can't hunt the opener Saturday morning, but I'm gonna head up to uh, Northwest-ish PA with my kids, uh, give my wife a break, and uh, do a little campfire fun with them and get in some deer hunting Saturday evening and, and maybe Monday morning. Um, there's definitely some deer in the area that we're gonna be. Uh, we've had some friends with trail cams out and they're kinda hooking me up with a good stand set. Um, getting everything together, I'm going to take this climber with me, but I don't anticipate that I'll need it. And other than that, it's just a matter of washing clothes, getting them in my bin, getting my pack ready, and uh, getting up there. I'm starting to get excited. We have a great season in front of us. It's going to be very busy for me because it looks like we're going to be moving and hopefully cleaning up this messy garage at the end of November or the beginning of December. But we got some good stuff lined up before that happens. Um, definitely going to be back in Maryland in the next couple weeks. Uh, the Sika deer bugling season, or they whistle, I'm more like, sounds like a little baby elk, um, is just starting to pick up. So I want to get back over for that completely unique experience. You need to check it out if you haven't read about it or seen it before. But that's it for now. Just got to get cleaned up, um, get the rest of my gear packed away, and get this work out of the way, and then we'll be back in the woods.